what we need to do, this change that we need to uh, uh, that we need to have here. And our, I can't tell you how um, uh, how important it's been to work with our uh, law enforcement partners, the uh, Anaheim Police Department, the sheriff, uh, the other uh, municipal police agencies, and the Highway Patrol in uh, uh, in in trying to combat this problem. Um, and uh, and the uh, uh, the contribution of the community service program uh, has it just been it's just been fantastic. And, and I mean, you've you've been hearing about it, but uh, uh, but the, there was such a tremendous need to um, uh, to to work with the uh, with these with the victims. You know, these uh, uh, these these poor girls that have been uh, abducted and turned into uh, uh, sex slaves for these uh, for these punks, basically to. Uh, so that they could, so that they could line their pockets with, uh, you know, with the easy money for them. Um, but it's just, it's just, it's just such an awful problem. And the, and the CSP has done such a wonderful job, and they brought their expertise. They've been uh, working with victims of crime of all kinds for many years, and they've developed a tremendous expertise and, and compassion and an ability to uh, uh, to do this kind of work. And they brought that to the table and done and done a tremendous good here. And I think that you just heard. Uh, Quite a bit about about, uh, about what they've been doing, and so it's 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 one of these uh, areas where you just have to have a collaborative effort. No one uh, agency or one uh, person or group is going to be able to uh, to uh, uh, control this problem or to make things better. It's going to require, uh, and it does require, uh, the uh, us work from uh, many different uh, segments of our of our society. Law enforcement, uh, CSP, DA's office, uh, uh, but also uh, it's going to require a lot of uh, awareness, public awareness. A lot of private uh, people need to become aware of it, uh, so that they can so that they can uh, uh, see what's going on and, uh, and and turn these things over. When they when you, you know, when you see what's happening out there and you see somebody who's who's clearly the victim and a, and a sex slave, you know, we need to know about it so that we can so that we can work with it and do something. So the public has to be involved, too. Well, what we've done uh, in the DA's office in, back in April of, uh, of uh, 2013, uh, we established what we call the uh, uh, Human Exploitation and Trafficking Unit in the District Attorney's Office. And this was really uh, led by um, District Attorney Chief of Staff Susan Schroeder. She's she's here she's here today, but uh, they, this unit has done uh, has done quite a tremendous job of uh, uh, getting together. First of all, it's it's comprised of uh, of attorneys and investigators uh, from the DA's office who are dedicated uh, to do this work to go after these uh, human trafficking uh, defendants and from to work to protect the victims to do what we can to punish the. Uh, the uh, the defendants and to and to discourage this kind of conduct and so and they've been doing great uh, uh, great work at this they it, and this requires not just uh, traditional prosecution but there's more to it because um, that you know these uh, uh, the victim the victims are so uh, debilitated by the time uh, by the time this uh, you know gets law enforcement uh, uh, gets it and, and, and we get it they just need an awful lot of work to to uh, uh, to, uh, uh, to to find themselves so that they can uh, actually have the uh, develop what it takes to be able to come to court and testify and uh, and, and prosecute these victims who were these uh, these uh, defendants who were their uh, basically their their slave owners. So it just takes a tremendous amount of uh, effort uh, to get this done. So the work that we're doing here isn't just the traditional prosecution. There's more to it because. Uh, uh, there's, the, there's, there's the working with the uh, with the victims in, in such a in, in like in a new way or different more intense way, uh, but also our uh, heat unit or human exploitation and trafficking unit is working to try to uh, educate. They're working. They're getting. They're getting out to all of the different places in the public that they can, um, universities, uh, um, you know, various different uh, nonprofit groups. Anybody who uh, uh, asks for a speaker who wants to listen. Uh, to bring to them the reality of what's going on here in Orange County uh, with regard to uh, to human trafficking, so we're doing a lot of that. We're working, we're working with the legislatures um, and they're working to uh, to get out to the different uh, uh, police agencies and to do training there to look for uh, what are the kinds of things that in, what are the indicators of human trafficking and you know, how do we how do we get into those cases? 
And so since 2013, April 2013, when they established this group, they've done really quite a bit of, they've done a lot of prosecution and with a great deal of success. And so you've heard a lot of numbers, and those numbers, each one, is important. But I think as far as the human traffickers out there, you know, the people, these despicable people who are taking these young ladies and turning them into slaves, I want them to listen to this number. Just since April of last year, our human trafficking unit has sent 35 of these slave owners, these human traffickers, to state prison. Not local time, not probation, state prison. And our goal is, if you're involved in that kind of despicable conduct, we're going to send you to state prison. But I just want the human traffickers out there to keep that in mind. Maybe they get that idea before they decide to go into this particular line of work. So with that, I think another, like I say, an important aspect of this is the public awareness. And so, you know, I can't, what better way than to have a bus like this driving all around Orange County. And I mean, I just think this is a tremendous benefit, you know, just a great campaign, this B to 1 campaign. And so in that regard, I'm going to introduce the next speaker.